8th of June 2022. Hope everybody out there is having a good day today. Let me start off by saying if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Talk to you a little bit today about what do y'all think most Americans would do if the world just went to, to crap. You know, everything was over tomorrow. I personally think most Americans would do nothing. They would sit there and wait on the government to come help them. I mean, that's, that's my honest opinion on what I think people would do. I mean, you can warn somebody so much and, and tell them, look, you need to get prepped up, you need to have this, you need to have that, but if they're not going to listen, they're not going to listen. You know, we've all been in situations like that when we've tried to talk to somebody and they still do exactly what you tell them not to do, you know. So, what's your thoughts on it? Do you think the majority of Americans would just sit back and wait on the government to fix it? I mean, I'm almost at the point where I think if another country invaded us, if... They were marching across America as long as it wasn't interfering with some people's day right then. They wouldn't care about it. You know, that's the way it looks. That's how far our society has gone. I said yesterday our society has gone soft. And it has. Look at all these, everything that's going on. You know, all we hear is people complain and complain and complain, but yet they never do nothing. Think back to our trucker convoy. That thing was the biggest joke I've ever, I've ever seen in my life. The Canadian convoy, you know, they, they had a good convoy going up there and they were actually working towards something. Ours just kind of sat back and just rolled around the beltway because they didn't want to get in trouble type situation, you know. Our society is collapsing around us every day. You can see it every day. And there's still people out there that don't see it. They don't see anything going on wrong, you know. And those are the ones I'm telling you, if, if everything went to crap tomorrow, they would just sit there and wait on the government to come help them. And that's the problem we have in America. People think the government is going to come help you. They're not. If it's not benefiting them, they're not going to come help you. Why would you think uh, if, a, if they can't fix what's going on now, how are they going to be able to fix it once it goes, you know, SHTF goes off? They're not going to be able to. You know, and I've told you that's what they're having to do. They've got to crash everything to, to build back because our economy is so far gone that there's no fixing it. There's not. An election's not going to fix it. A new president's not going to fix it. We are too far gone to fix this. I mean, look at how much things are speeding up now, you know, as far as the decline, all these fires, gas prices just outrageous, you know, food prices going up. We're supposed to have blackouts. Yesterday, uh, Winchester Ammunition in Mississippi, somehow or another, they got knocked offline, you know, as far as the power getting knocked off there. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it today if they come back online or not. But, guys, these things aren't happening randomly. They're happening on purpose. You've got to be able to see this. I mean, look look what started, you know, with, with the... Supreme Court order they were going to reverse. I still firmly believe someone was told to say that to get our attention off something else. And then you have this Johnny Depp crap everybody's so into. Look what was going on during that. More money got sent over to Ukraine. Gas prices started going up again. They, they keep you occupied over here so you don't see what they're doing over here. But yet, mo the majority, a lot of Americans are going to sit there and think the government's going to save them when things go bad. What's your thoughts on it? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like or dislike the video. It doesn't matter to me. The more interaction I have with y'all, the higher up in analytics I go. Comment on this. I want to know y'all's thoughts on it. Do you think the majority of Americans would just sit there and wait on the government to fix it? I do. I don't think that we're so far gone that I don't think the majority of Americans have backbones anymore. Let me know your thoughts.